What's up guys? Justin here with the CGessentials.com back with another Blender free add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to check out an add-on that's built into Blender that allows you to quickly add snow to your models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so real snow is an add-on that comes built into Blender. You can access it by going to edit preferences and then looking for real snow in your add-ons list. And you just want to make sure you check the box for real snow. So it's under object real snow. And so the way that this works, it's actually super simple and easy to use, which I really like. You just select an object. So for example, if I select my body model, you set the coverage over here. So you can find this by tapping the in key and clicking on real snow. And then on the right hand side over here, you've got this little drop down for snow and a couple options that you can, uh, that you can adjust. And so what you do is you select the object that you want to add snow to, and you just click on the button for add snow. So it's really easy to add snow to an object like this. One of the cool things about this is you can set the coverage. So if you take coverage up higher like this, then you're going to get more snow on your object. So um, you can kind of play around with these in order to adjust the thickness of the snow, other things like that. So for example, let's say that I leave my coverage at 100% and I bring my height down. So for the monkey, for example, I'm going to click on add snow and it's going to add snow everywhere, but it's very thin. However, if I do the same thing with my teapot, right here and I turn the height up to maybe like 0.75 or something like that and click on add snow. Notice how the snow that gets added is much thicker than the snow that's over here. So it really gives you a lot of control without you having to mess around with a bunch of sliders or anything like that. In addition, this does work with more complex objects. So for example, I've got this skid loader that I got from the traffic, um, from the traffic model library and we're going to bring our coverage down a bit and our height down a bit. But if I click on add snow, notice how that's going to add snow all over this object. And if you don't like the way that it looks, you can just delete the snow out and try again. So I could bring my coverage down, try again, until I get something that I actually like. And one of the other cool things about this is you can also select faces. And so right now, for example, I've got this object right here. Well, if I was to turn my coverage up, and we'll leave our height as is, then I'm going to get snow over most of the object, right? It's still kind of random in here, which is what it's supposed to be. If you wanted more snow, you could just run it again and it'll place it somewhere else. But let's say that I only wanted this in certain areas of my object. Well, what I can do is I can tab into object mode or edit mode, um, and then I can select some faces. So we'll go ahead and select these faces right here. In fact, let's do even less. Let's select these faces and these faces. Well, now if I tab back into edit mode and I check the box for selected faces, it's only going to put that snow in the areas that I had selected. So you can use this in order to more specifically place that snow inside of your models like this. And so this can be super helpful for something like a landscape like this one. So this is just a surface that I created. Um, and then I scattered some rocks and plants on it using the scatter add-on. Well, you can use this in order to quickly add snow to that surface. So for example, if I leave my coverage at 100%, or let's bring it down a little bit and leave my height right here and click on add snow, that's gonna add snow to my object like this. And so depending on the height that you select, you can get different looks. So for example, this would give me the look of kind of a spring scene where greenery had started kind of coming up through the snow, but there's still snow on top of it. Or if you wanted to cover everything, you could crank that height up to something thicker like this. So you can use this in order to get different looks depending on what you're trying to do. And it's super easy to do this. And so the other cool thing about this is if we jump into the shader editor real quick and look at the snow, notice how the snow material actually has like a principled BSDF that has your material with uh, like roughness on it as well as displacement set up. So what that means is that means when you render this out, this snow actually looks really realistic with uh, like reflections coming off of the material as well as some bumpiness on the snow to make it look uh, not just uniform, but actually realistic. So if you wanna check out some more of the free add-ons that are built into Blender, I will link to that video on this page as well. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about real snow. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.